Hi, this is Brian Riley from Liftoff, and today I'm going to show you how to connect to your Microsoft 365 tenant using PowerShell. PowerShell is a great way to manage your Microsoft 365 tenant and gain insights into how your staff are using the different Microsoft applications. For example, would you like to control who in your organization is able to create Microsoft 365 groups and teams? Or are you curious about who in your organization is actually enabled for MFA? Or maybe you're wondering about what mobile devices are connected to your Microsoft 365 tenant. PowerShell is a great resource for all of these scenarios. Stick around until the end of the video to see my absolute favorite PowerShell command to run here at Liftoff. Let's go. To begin, launch the PowerShell module on your Windows machine in admin mode. Answer yes to any prompts that appear. And now you're ready to get started. Now, if you have a Mac, it is possible to run PowerShell, but the steps are a bit more complex. I'll place a link on how to do this in the video description. There are a few prerequisites that must be completed before you can connect to your tenant. First, you're going to want to set the execution policy on your machine so that you can run scripts. Next, you're going to want to load in the commandlets for Exchange Online and MS Online so that you can allow communication via PowerShell to your Microsoft 365 tenant. Now note there are other modules that you can install to do other types of administration in Microsoft 365. Examples include SharePoint and security compliance. These prerequisites only need to be completed the very first time that you run PowerShell on any particular machine. Next, you'll need to connect to your Microsoft 365 tenant. If you're in the commercial or GCC moderate cloud, the connection command looks like this. I'll be sure to put this in the video description as well. Now, if you're in the GCC high cloud, the connection command is slightly different. I'll also link to this one. A few things to note here. Only global administrators can connect to your 365 tenant with PowerShell. So notice that in my connection command here, I have my username, which is a global admin in our tenant. The other thing to mention is that this method of connecting with PowerShell to 365 will work whether or not you have MFA turned on, and hopefully you do have MFA turned on. So you may encounter a credential window where you just put in your username and your password and your uh, MFA credentials to get fully connected as well. Now that you're connected with PowerShell to your 365 tenant, what kinds of things can you do? Here at Liftoff, for our clients, we've got our PowerShell Greatest Hits document, which not only shows how to connect, but also some of our favorite PowerShell commands. One of my absolute favorite commands is this one here. How big are my users' mailboxes? Here's our command here. I'll just copy it out take it into PowerShell, paste it in, and execute. Once the command is fully executed, I'll then go to my desktop where I'll search for my mailbox size report. And there you have it, a nicely formatted CSV global mailbox size report that gives me certain pieces of information like the total mailbox size and even the size of the deleted item folder. I hope this video was helpful. Please reach out to us at liftoffonline.com with any questions you have on Microsoft 365.